Hayden, uh, good to be here at Fraser Nash Manufacturing today. We're standing in front of one of four Fanuc wire machines that you've got. This is your latest purchase, yes. isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. We've had it for about three, three or four months now. Uh, so wh why did you buy this uh, C600iB? Because it's a new B-series as well. There's lots of new features with this model, isn't there? Um, I think I've been involved with Fanuc for about 20 years, and I've always rated them highly. Um, very reliable machines. The technology over the years has, has greatly improved. And, um, yeah, I think don't change if, you know, don't change if you're happy with something. So, Why did you have to buy this new machine? Did you have a, a lot more work coming through or was it for a, a particular project? I think so. For um, work-wise, our capacity, we were looking for a bigger bed. Um, speed cutting as well, obviously, because a couple of the machines we've got are a little bit old now, so it was time to change. And uh, So the other machines have got smaller working envelopes, have they? Uh, yes, we've got a uh, 1ID, which has got the same envelope as well, but uh, this is a lot quicker so we're happy. And, and how much faster is it I mean what sort of work are you doing and what, what improvements have you seen um, I would say 20 to 30 percent faster on a lot of the work we're doing cutting speeds um, and does that have any bearing on uh, the surface finish that comes off of the, the cut or anything or, or the accuracy that you can no, cut to if anything the accuracy and the surface finish is better than it's ever been it's uh, superb now so what sort of work are you actually doing then if you're seeing 20 to 30 percent improvements in uh, cycle times? Um, we're cutting all sorts of different materials really, um, all different thicknesses, um, but we're mainly in the food industry so it's, it's pl a lot of plate work actually, aluminium plate work, titanium work. Well I, I notice that this part here is a part that's been 3D printed isn't it? And then what you, what you do into this? Um, so this is a Moravian steel part, it's been uh, built on a 3D machine. Um, basically I'm just cutting it off the base at the moment to allow it to go on to the next stage which is uh, five axis machining. And how do you go about programming your machines here, Hayden? I do it all offline using the CAMI software from Fanuc. So. And how do you find that to use and to get to grips with? It's, it's really good, actually. It's, uh, it took me a little while because I've been using a different software for a long time, but actually it's fantastic now. It's very user-friendly. And even though you've got some older machines here, does it, does it work? Does it post to those as well? Yes, it posts on all, all Fanuc machines over the years, yes. And often the emphasis with, with new machines is obviously about speed, but what about the economy of them? Is it far more uh, economical? Oh, it's very efficient, this machine. It's, I think it's one of the most efficient uh, EDM machines on the market at the moment. In terms of its power consumption? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's very cheap to run. And now tell me about the, what, the attachment that you bought with this machine as well. If I just open this uh, door here. I mean, obviously this is a, a wire cut machine, but there is always a need with EDM to do... Uh, hole drills and, and that's what the attachment that you have here isn't it? Yes this is an EDM hole driller we can drill from 0.3 right up to 3 mil in diameter through hardened steels um, and the, obviously the advantage of it is you don't need to drill a plate before uh, you put it on the wire machine it can now be put straight up straight from the heat treatment hole drill in center find that hole and off we go it means unmanned hours without having to drill anything well, that's fantastic. Does it work independently or is it all, all in, the, in the same program, the same control? Uh, yes, it's all programmed from macros within the machine itself. Uh, so now, so whereas before you've had to do other operations off of the machine, you can now do everything here in one hit. I mean, is it easy to fit? Yeah, it's ever so easy. It's very, very user friendly and it's a really good machine. So what are we cutting today, Hayden? Um, it's 100 mil thick Moravian steel. OK, let's see it in action. Now, interestingly, this part here, Andy, is actually what was being cut on the Fanuc Robo, uh, Robo Cut machine, isn't it? Yeah, so this is the one we were cutting earlier. Um, the only difference between this and the two you saw on the machine is that this one's just had the top surface finish. So this is part of a, a die cast molding tooling um, with conformal channels all running through it to, to speed up the cooling time. So um, it's not the traditional part you kind of use additive for, but it's, uh, it's quite a nice niche for it. Leads me perfectly into this. Here we're in what would class as your additive manufacturing yeah. cell, something that Fraser Nash Manufacturing has got heavily involved in in the last few years. Uh, tell us a little bit about the company and what you're doing generally in the business and also here with the additive manufacturing. Yeah, so um, Fraser Nash kind of started in 1922, building sports cars of all kind of things. Um, then became a Porsche dealer, um, kind of evolved, bounced around in history. Um, we made the Lancaster turrets for the, uh, for the bombers uh, in World War II. Um, in 1990, the, the group split um, and we became a, a separate entity. Um, but yeah, a lot of what we do is actually food machinery, so conveyor belts, packaging, um, air transportation systems, bits like that. So 
The, the flip side of that is that we have a good extensive machine shop. Um, we have EDMs as you've seen. Um, we've got full extensive machinery from, from five axis to three axis um, lathes as well. So um, the additive just seemed like a nice sort of lead into, into that. And the advantage is, is that we're one of the few companies in the UK that's got everything under one roof. Um, that's a key point. One of the only companies that does absolutely everything. What, what, what percentage of your business is additive manufacturing at the moment, would you say? So additive makes up quite a small percent of what we do at the moment. It's around about 5 to 6%, um, but it's steadily growing. I mean, to be fair, when we brought it in, we've only been with it about three years now, um, and it's steadily grown. I mean, a lot of AM parts are about learning and the education side of it. So we spent the first two years really learning what we can do with the technology, where it sits within our structure and everything like that. So it, it's really within the last year that we've really started to push on it. Um, this year seems the release of our AM design guide as well, especially from additive um, on the metal side of it. So that was kind of a key important role. Um, AM at the moment is quite a closed system. No one likes to talk about everything. So we just kind of wanted to break down those walls and, and work with customers. And what's the cohesion between the FANUC uh, cut machine and the additive manufacturing? Is a lot of the stuff you, you print here then going into the, into the wire cutting process afterwards? Yeah, so there's a few fundamental operations within AM, um, EDM being one of them. So AM, especially on the, the Renishaw machines, is essentially micro-welded the parts to the base plate. Uh, the quickest and most efficient way of getting them off is using the EDMs to cut them straight off the build plate. Um, obviously, we can do far more intricate stuff at the same time, um, but it's just kind of a nice, easy way to start with. Um, the other side of it is heat treatment, but um, we've got small furnaces, which is great, um, but it's some, something that's best left to the experts on that one. And a few words to summarise FANUC for you uh, as we end this interview in terms of their response, their delivery and their ongoing support. A absolutely brilliant from, from stage one to, to delivery. Um, can't fault them. I say we've got machines dating back to 1990 um, and they're still running to the present day. It's a solid, reliable um, machine, perfect for what you want.